Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with an episode which you can see that we're hanging out in the bedroom. We've got the good old bed right here. I'm actually updating my yearly tech bedroom guide tour. The last video surprisingly did super well and we've had a ton of upgrades, surprisingly, in the bedroom as you wouldn't really think too much tech lives here, but there are essential pieces and here is my guide to some of the best pieces of tech that you can have in your own bedroom. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to Audible for sponsoring today's episode. I use them as my main hub, or I guess they're underneath, of course, Amazon. And this is the Echo Show 5, which is my main device. Not only do I listen to my audiobooks when I'm about to pass out, when I'm waking up, I use the device to activate the rest of my smart home tech, whether that's a couple lights and the rest of the pieces of tech that of course we'll get to. As you know, Audible has the world's largest growing library of over 400,000 plus titles. And I can always activate my audiobooks by just asking Alexa, hey Alexa, continue my audiobook. And I've actually got an Audible code, which I'll leave linked down below. It gives the first 50 people a free audiobook. So go grab it quickly. I know those will go quick. Let me know which audiobook you ended up picking up. And the rest of the tech on the night table, I'll label as my real essentials. And I really tried to keep it bare bone and not use too much tech in the bedroom, but we do have a BenQ lamp. This guy rotates around and you can change the color temperature or choose to dim it. When I'm not listening to an audiobook, I do like to read a traditional book every once in a while. And behind there, I do have a Google Mesh node. My entire Wi-Fi network in this condo is run through Google Mesh. I've of course got bits of orange in consoles to complete the obsession. The first is my Nintendo Switch where I sometimes do play a couple games and my Xbox One S. I've got my cheaper console here and that's linked to the TV which we'll see later on. I've got a little Porsche tin which kind of collects all of my change which I dump out of my pockets before I go to bed and just a candle to keep things scented. That's technically not really tech but um, yeah, that is my nightstand to the bed and we'll quickly talk about furniture because I know a lot of you have been asking. This entire room is outfitted by Rove Concepts. They create very modern pieces. I know they're not the cheapest. It's nowhere near that Ikea level, but if you can afford to buy better pieces, they'll definitely last way longer as they're way more premium. I think it's a nice contrast to my pure white studio or a lot of the gray pieces I have in my living room. Wood finishes give it a much more of a homely and warm feel. And I guess this nice little throw that I've got over it, I got this from the Soho Hotel in New York. I begged them to have it just because it was an orange. If you haven't already guessed from this video slash any of my videos, orange is the jam. Behind my shoulder over this way is the first set of lights controlled by my Alexa. These guys are from Nanoleaf and you can set any sort of pattern to them. Sometimes I do find they are a bit bright. I don't really use them too much. Actually underneath are lights that I use more and those are from Philips Hue. Those are usually on at night when I'm trying to set the mood and I actually have a second Philips Hue light bulb that lives inside this lamp right here. This is from Caligaris, but those two sets of lights are linked so they're always the same color and the best part when I'm in bed, I can always ask Alexa to turn them off. I don't need to get up and actually press a dedicated light button. It just kind of takes laziness to the next level. It's the best. On the other side of the bed, which you actually can't see in frame, is a Dyson fan. And it's used for two things, both of course to keep cool in the summer. And the second thing, which I have it on all year round, is actually an air purifier. I find that that helps a ton, especially with dust. You get a lot of that in the bedroom. And the last pieces of accessories before I get beside my bed are actually the piece of tech that I might use the most. It's a charging cable for my iPhone. I've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max here and every night I do plug this guy in. This guy's from B Charge and it's super nice because it's super long. I hate the OG cables that Apple gives you inside the box. I find that they're way too short. My girlfriend unfortunately has one on her side. I am blessed that I can use this guy when I'm in bed. I can drag it to the other side. Of course, links of everything are down below. I love this thing and it's so durable. To this little guy right here, that's actually an LG subwoofer, which of course is linked to an LG soundbar, which of course is linked to the new Bahamut Beast, which is sitting on this TV stand, which is LG's latest 
flagship OLED line. It's the 65 inch C9 and it literally fits within a centimeter of this setup. It's on top of a TV stand, once again, Rove Concepts in that same walnut finish. It's two tiered and on the lower deck is where the TV and sound bar fits and I could not have asked for a better fit into this bedroom. Not to mention the back is almost paper thin. The bezels are almost non-existent. It's one of the most beautiful displays I've had the chance to look at. It's got all of the benefits of OLED, so super dark and deep blacks, super high dynamic range. The panel gets super bright, so in a place like this where I get a ton of natural light, in case I'm snoozing in on the weekend, say on Sunday fun day, I can watch TV and not have any glare on this TV. The soundbar which I've got paired also the exact fit is the SL10YG. I think it pairs perfectly with this OLED. It's got Dolby Atmos, is built with Meridian Tech, and has those two massive upward firing speakers that gives you the perception of surround sound. So that will bounce off sound off say the ceiling back to me where I'm sitting. And like I said, it gives you that perception of having surround sound. So you don't have to deal with having multiple speakers. It's an easy plug and play and definitely way cheaper than a full surround sound setup. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, I've got my Xbox One S, of course, in orange. We've got a lamp by Caligaris to kind of complete this wall. And I actually have two pieces of art up there and I actually designed those myself. Drew those up on Illustrator and those are sitting in Ikea frames. And I think that pretty much wraps up the tech or my tech bedroom tour. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Would love to make future upgrades for next year's episode. Just remember, there's that Audible link down below for your free audiobook, so don't miss out on that. And that wraps up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next home tech tech videos. Peace.